What's going on everybody, Diptesh here, back with another video and look what I have got here. OnePlus's brand new 27W thermoelectric phone cooler. Now just about a month ago, I bought a 25W phone cooler from Amazon for just 2100 rupees. It's a powerful cooler with pretty amazing cooling capacity, I even made a video on it. But it's from a no name brand, no warranty and that's why this is really exciting. It's the first time I have seen a powerful phone cooler from a big brand with established after sale support and that's also quite affordable at just 2400 rupees. So in this video, let's unbox it and compare against the other budget 25 watt phone cooler available in India to see if the OnePlus cooler is the best phone cooler in India or not. Right off the bat, I can say the packaging is way better and more premium feeling. This does not feel like just another Chinese drop shipped item. And wow, this is a 27 watt cooler and I'm having a hard time believing that because it is so compact and slim. Will this heatsink and fan combo be enough to dissipate 27 watt worth of heat? We will test that to find out. First, here is a quick size comparison with the Zorbi's 25 watt phone cooler that I reviewed and the difference is huge. The OnePlus cooler is much more compact and slim. Let's see what else we got. We got these clips with which you will attach the phone cooler to the phone. And check this out, one of the clips has a quarter inch thread so that you can mount the phone cooler setup to a tripod or a stand like this. If you are recording a long video or a live stream or even gaming, this is a super handy feature. Just know that clamping these clips to the cooler is a bit finicky, you will hear a click. You need to put some force and the clips will be attached quite firmly and won't wobble. Another quick size comparison with my Xiaomi 15. And the OnePlus cooler size is perfect for a small phone like this. You have a lot more room for your fingers. Finally, you have a large metal plate which you will use if you want to attach the cooler magnetically to a tablet. Nice. Quick check on the power draw. Once you plug it in, the cooler will light up in solid red which indicates 27 watt is being supplied. And here as per this 65 watt PD power bank, it says the cooler is pulling 25.4 watts which is actually a little more than what the Zorbis cooler pulled. But will it be able to sustain this? So let's just find out. Before using, make sure to remove the plastic film from over the cooling plate. Alright, so here we have started the comparison 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme Stress Test and on the left we have the OnePlus cooler and on the right we have the Zorbis cooler. Now I'm very sorry I had double checked the focus on the screen. I have no clue how I missed focus even after manually focusing on a magnified preview at f5.6 aperture. Maybe I bumped the focus ring by mistake. So I'm really sorry. You can probably still make out the GPU clocks and battery temperatures. I must also say the room temperature was quite a bit hotter compared to the previous time when I tested the Zorbis cooler. So actually these are better testing conditions for the cooler. Alright, first thing to notice is what I feared. The OnePlus cooler dropped its power draw significantly from 25.4 watt to 18 watt. And you will notice the OnePlus cooler from now on will hover between 18 watt and 20 watts. Meanwhile the Zorbis cooler is doing nearly 22 watts which is significantly higher. I feel both coolers can do better if the room temperature is below 30 degrees centigrade, particularly the OnePlus cooler which is much smaller. Now, by the end of the first 5 minutes, the OnePlus cooler setup is almost at 41 degrees centigrade versus the Zorbis cooler which is at just over 39 degrees centigrade which is nearly a 2 degree centigrade. Next at the halfway mark that is after 10 minutes the Zorbis cooler setup is still maintaining a 2 degree centigrade lower temperatures.
at the end of 15 minutes, the Zorbis cooler setup is at 41 degrees centigrade versus 43.3 degrees centigrade on the OnePlus setup, which is a 2.3 degrees centigrade advantage with the Zorbis cooler. Finally, at the end of 20 minutes, Zorbis cooler setup is at 40.9 degrees centigrade versus the OnePlus setup, which is at 43.6 degrees centigrade, which is a 2.7 degrees centigrade advantage for the Zorbis cooler. Taking a look at the final scores, there is barely any difference. The Zorbis setup did very slightly better. I mean, these are not the highest scores that I've gotten, but today is pretty hot. So the peak scores are lower than 6000 points. But like we saw, the Zorbis cooler maintained a pretty clear advantage, temperature advantage throughout the test and is more suited for hotter weather. But still, the OnePlus cooler did pretty well with respect to its size. The quarter inch thread for mounting purposes is also a great feature. And above all, it is a name brand product with after sales support, which is non-existent with almost any other phone cooler in India. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Buying links for the products are in the description. Make sure to like, share and subscribe. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.